talking about range uh, and, and going back to the the vehicle that we used on the rally you know one of my concerns was or one of my things i wanted to find out was what effect does the fridge have on the range of this vehicle because it's you know, the transit customers wrtp figure is somewhere around about 200 miles of range yeah, two hundred. When we miles. fully charged it, I think we got one hundred and ninety-eight ordinary. We did, yeah, that's right. And and you know, we were driving it. We were driving it sensibly within the law, but we weren't driving it. You know, we were keeping up with the traffic flow. We weren't holding anybody up. We were driving it as as normal. Essentially, you know, we could have driven it harder, but there's no point. So, um, so I drove it for you know the first sort of couple of days without the fridge operating, just to understand what sort of range we can expect, what sort of performance we can get out of the vehicle. On that third day, um, I took a deep breath and switched that switch on to get the fridge running. And um, Praying you wouldn't see the range crumble. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I hadn't planned my route. I hadn't planned my charging stops. I knew where the checkpoints were, but I didn't know where I was going to charge on route. And that's the way I always tackle it. you know, I, I watched the temperature come down on the display and uh, it, it came down to I think, three degrees or something like that and, and sort of hovered hovered around there and it, it got down to that temperature fairly quickly. So I, I left it on all day because the range, you know, wasn't coming down very much more than I would have expected to come down without the fridge running. And I was astounded to find at the end of the day, we'd lost around about 11 miles of range. 